In this video I share how to make soap pants or cigar pants with an online program called Canva. In Canva you can find templates for all kinds of designs like social media posts for Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and so forth, as well as other things like invitation cards, logos, even planners and t-shirts. Canva is a great program that anyone can use regardless of previous design experience. There is a free and a paid version and I'm going to tell you more about it in the video. You can save all your designs within the program and as you can see here I make practically everything in Canva. My product labels, the YouTube presentations, newsletters and even my books and worksheets. You can also search for a term here in the search bar, for example, a logo, let's have a look. And then you will have a lot of template options showing up. Once you find the one you like, you can open it and then customize it according to your needs or likings. Really nice and easy. The other possibility is to create a custom design up here. Today we want to design some soap bands and therefore we need an A4 sheet. Of course you need to determine what the width of your band should be. Best is to measure it out on your soap bar beforehand. Using the element tab on the left here, we are going to choose a square to create the exact width of the band. I will need the entire length of the sheet for my particular soap. You can use a solid color by choosing a color from the side menu. You have many text options as well. Some of them are already displayed here. Let's add this one to start with. The three dot menu over here gives us the possibility to ungroup this font combo so that we can manipulate each line separately. By dragging the text box we can enlarge or diminish the size of any element. For fonts you can also resize it by using the plus and minus figures next to the font name. I'm going to roughly position it in the middle of the band and change the text to the name of my soap. In this case, I'm just gonna write handmade soap and then the name of the soap, which is spicy honey. I just want to make sure that the font does not exceed the width of my soap, which is seven centimeters. By the way, this program here works also in inches. I'm just using a square element again, dragging it to seven centimeters and then eyeballing it so I'm sure that it stays within the margins. Looks pretty good now. Over here on the elements box, you can type in a search term, anything really. I'm going for a honeycomb look. Let's use this one here and by dragging it, you can adjust it to the size of your band. Looks cool. Okay, for the next one, I place the exact band width like before. And now I search for the term raspberry. I want to create a different style with this one just for a variation. I'm going to pick these berries here. Adjusting the size. And then you have a tab here called flip and you see how you can easily flip your element horizontally or even vertically. Really cool. I'm going to duplicate the same font that we used before with command D and then add it to our new band here. Let's choose another font for this black raspberry vanilla soap. This one here is fitting in my opinion and I'm gonna change the color of the band. This time, I'm just taking a solid color. 
Of course, you can change the line spaces to adjust and center the font or your logo. I'm happy with this one. For the next soap band, I would like a handwriting type font. So I type in handwriting in the font search bar and take this one. I'm searching for a plum pattern now over here in the elements tab and the options are amazing. The little crown by the way on the image indicates that this particular image is just available with the Pro subscription. The image here is more like a photograph type image and I just want to show you three different styles. And if you check out the side menu, you can see that you can even search for different options separately to narrow down the search results. So you have photographs, graphics, audio and even video. Now that we have three bands ready, we can go ahead and copy to fill the entire A4 page so we don't waste any paper. Once you have selected all elements, you want to copy it in the three dot menu on top where you can group all the elements. This way you can copy the entire design and paste it once and copy it like so. I will do the same with this band here. Canva is a very easy to use and very intuitive program. You can try it out for a month with a link in the description. There are many other features and they keep enhancing the program. It was a game changer for me personally. So once you are happy, you can download the page and print it out. I used a slightly thicker and glossier paper. I will leave the link for the paper or an option in your area down in the description as well. By the way, if you are one of my patrons, I can share my design with you as a template and then you can just customize it according to your likings within Canva. It's amazing. I like to use the trim and scoreboard for cutting. You will find all links to all tools that I'm using, including paper and printer, down in the description if you are interested. You just need a cello tape to hold the band together in the back. Of course, you can also use any type of other adhesive that you like. I have other videos of packaging ideas for soap here on my channel, one using paper wrapping as you can see here. Another one is using boxes that I made using the envelope punch board. If you are interested in other videos around the subject of soap making, check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you soon. Bye.